The cheers that greeted the Garda team at the Brandywell gates were indicative not just of welcome, but also of relief that they had arrived safely. Though Derry City club officers had dismissed alleged loyalist paramilitary threats against the visitors, nevertheless, security was tight. The RUC, which never enters the Brandywell grounds deep in nationalist Derry, escorted the Gordy from the border and kept an eye on events from a distance, while the host club had extra stewards and private security workers on duty, checking vehicles and even, indeed, the belongings of the referee, Aidan Gallagher. Neither fear nor nerves, however, could diminish the sense of occasion, and the 12,000 spectators made sure the teams knew that as they emerged onto the pitch. Not everyone welcomed the visitors, however, though this group of protesters was outside the grounds. The euphoric mood of Deputy Gorda Commissioner, in a shown man, Eamon Doherty, a long-time supporter of Derry City, though cheering for the Gordy today, of course, was typical of the occasion. Well, I think it's an historic occasion. It's an historic occasion for us in many ways. It's an historic occasion to reach this level because we're part-time football team. They play for fun. But uh, they've been improving, particularly since McLeach came to us, they've been improving. We're certainly proud, delighted, over the moon that we have got this far. And we're doubly delighted to be here with the Derry City people. And the reception we have received here, you hear it, you see them there. It's fantastic. The football wasn't affected by the occasion, however, and there was plenty of action. There will be a report on the match on RTE2 television on Sports Special later.